with Logan too, that when he took it too far is what he said is that if other creators collab with them and give Tate a platform, like that's not okay. Yeah, don't give Tate a platform. Don't make the Tate brothers more famous than the Paul brothers. He's just, just geez, he was a bit jealous, but he, he definitely got told well, to do what he was done. What, what do you think did. about like, I think you started maybe a domino effect because you saw Kanye just bought a private platform. You see that? Yeah, I did. Parlor. You think you think that's all a game where he he acts out to kind of like follow? Oh, you don't have to act out to move platform. I think that there is a lot of pressure behind the dam, and this is another thing I want to make public. I want to make I want to make clear to the world. I don't have beef with the social media companies. I don't have beef with Susan and YouTube. I don't have beef with Meta and Zuck. I don't give a fuck, right? I don't have personal beef with these people, and I'm not even mad at them for banning me. Sure, right? But. I do think, and like I said, I talk about things from a non-emotional standpoint, from a professional standpoint. I do think they made a mistake. And I'm not saying that because it's me. I'm not saying that because I want to get back on. I'm saying that because when you do something like they've done, like the mass cancellation of me, it's very, very important that you do not come across as tyrannical. You have to be seen to be fair and non-biased. And everyone for a long time knew that wasn't the case. And banning me added more fuel to the fire, added more pressure to the dam. The water behind the dam is these people are not fair. They control all the information. They're not non-biased. They're actually extremely biased. They're tyrannical. And what happens is when you have a lot of pressure behind a dam, it takes a very small crack for the whole thing to explode. The crack that was missing is someone to be canceled and become more successful than they were pre-cancellation. As soon as that happens, nobody's afraid anymore because nobody wants to deal with their bullshit anyway. So where do you that's where they made a mistake. Where do you think this goes then? Oh, well, yeah. Well, what do you think about Kanye? He acted out, and now he just bought a platform. Oh, yeah. The well, what, do, what do you think about what Kanye's doing in general? Well, dude's a billionaire, right? So it's kind of like he's in a slightly different... Man, I appreciate all the support, man. For real, man. Keep hitting that subscribe button, watching the videos, man. Let's turn up. Let's get it. Position than Joe Schmo. But he's do, he's going on like the podcast tour right now, and he is saying some. He's saying way. I, I, I love Kanye to too, and I, I think it's the same thing. Where like some of what he's saying, like I agree with, and then some shit's just wild. Well, what's your opinion on on what he's saying? I haven't watched all. I'm gonna sound a little crazy, but man, I think him and Kanye West are a little similar. Man, everybody want to cancel them. Man, they want to take them out because they speak the truth in some way. But what y'all think? Let me know in the comment section what y'all think about him. Of what he said. Um, I just, I, I don't think he would have ever really truly been scared of being canceled anyway. So Kanye, although I know what you're saying, I don't think it's the best use case. I think it's the general YouTuber and Twitch streamer, who, the gen yeah. normal guy saying, cancel me, I'll go to Rumble. It's weird. He the guy with 40k subs is now saying, I'll go to Rumble, don't care. That's their problem, not Kanye. The problem is all the low-level creators going, well, if you're going to start fucking my video over nothing, I'll just move, I'll just move, I'll just move. And then there's going to be a mass exodus, and they're going to sit there and go, when did this all start? We banned Andrew Tate for no reason. We should have fucking kept him on the platform. I think they fucked up, and, and, and I really genuinely believe that. And what happens is, it's kind of like, if, you, if, if you're a tyrannical person, you have to sit and try very hard to not come across tyrannical. Mm -hmm. You know, like if you're a jealous guy. Do you think he deserved everything he got from that, that cancellation? Let me know in this section, man, for real. Let's get it, man. My life story, let's go. Cool. You have to try very hard to not look jealous. It's like you, they haven't sat, they haven't sat there and looked at the optics of it, so and, and 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 now they're sitting there realize they. I know they analyze data in real time at the point of the cancellation. In fact, because my team analyzed data, right? So I'll tell you this. So when I got canceled, I had the war room analyzing data in real time. So at the height of the media storm, there's there's apps you can use to measure responses on comments, likes, etc., up, up votes, down votes, blah blah blah. At the height of the media storm, it was about fifty five percent of comments on any post involving me was positive, and forty five percent were negative. At the height of the lies, it's now ninety five percent positive. So now that they fired all their bullets, that's because that's all the media machine can do. They can't can switch up though. They can't print the I'm misogynist again. They can't print the same lie. Yeah. They shot me with every bullet. I, I'm still standing here alive. It's like the, the zombies come and you've emptied your clip. He's still here, and and now everyone loves me. And they're sitting there and they fucked up. Where does this go though, as a whole? You know what I'm saying? Not just for you, but I mean as a whole. Like, is this going to create like? overall just rebellion do you think like because we're like where does this end up in, in 20 years from now if more people are dipping and going to other platforms just new platforms to go on or, or not even Rumble. just not even just content wise i just mean life wise like where where do you think this is going because everything shifts right power is always shit yeah. yeah so is this going to turn to a point where like i don't know uh the the right side which is typically the side that's being more like quieted is that going to be then in control and then attacking the left in the same because it just swings yeah you're right life 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 is cyclical and it goes in a pendulum and right. I, do, I do think that there's now a change happening in society i do think it's going to shift i um, want to be just as bad if it gets the other side and the other side is just feeling the same exact way like how do you think we find a balance genuinely i don't think we'll ever find a balance i don't think we will but i don't think it's 
I just I, how, I, think, how, I think humans the society is just so I agree, up. I agree. How, much, how much do you hate to see you leave and now everybody loves you Everybody wants. Well, everyone loved him prior to leaving. Too, no, but well. you said there's a bunch of negative comments and shit. Yeah, but it's now- a very. The thing is with the internet, it's a very vocal minority. That's the truth about the internet. You yeah, see the negativity. There, yeah. the, the negativity, you go, oh, people don't like him. It's like four dudes with no life. Do y'all feel like that's the truth? Is this internet taking over negatively or positive? Let me know in the comment section, man. Let's get it. Like, the truth is, I've never had a negative interaction on the street, ever. I've been approached yeah. by thousands of people. Like, it, everyone loves me, right? It's more very than you think. It's, very, it's, it's a very negative minority. And, and it's a lot more than that in person. Yeah. So. <laughs> but, yeah, I think everyone's going to be moving to alternative platforms. Obviously, I'm on Rumble. They've been fantastic to me. I have nothing but good things to say about them. But fuck content, the overall thing. Overall, I think that social media is going to change to the point where I think the next big thing for a platform to do would be to, to allow the content creator to own their subscribers. Imagine there was a oh, content. Wow. Imagine there was a platform where you owned the subs. You had their emails. You owned the subs, and you could choose any platform you wanted, and you could bring your subs with you. Sounds like you have a. Plan. How does the platform? That's what that, that, well, I, I'm just saying. Like you if a plan. platform were to do that, where would you? Where would you build your following? Where For you sure. Build your, you yeah. build your following where you own the data. So what these what these large companies do is they want to control the data for as long as possible, and that's going to be disrupted when someone comes along and says you can build your following and you own the data and you own the following. And if I'm not good to you or you think I'm tyrannical, you can take your following somewhere else. Then they're going to conquer, and then YouTube's going to fall. Well, that's I the thing that's always got me going. Crazy crazy is like this this whole like all these platforms are money driven at the end of the day and i don't think people really realize it that the data that they're grabbing like for example the whole period of like uh the, when the world shifted to social media and mainstream media lost their power on television they realized oh shit we need to own social media we need to have our people here because at the same time like they were losing money from advertisers who were like we're all going to social media now we're not going to go pay the television because no one's watching anymore how do we get people on our website or on our social media channels and they did the same thing like that like almost youtubers have done for years which is like create content that is like drama driven or negative driven to get people in so do you think that will ever change though because it's always going to be content based and content driven yeah i agree with you i don't think it's necessarily going to change but i do think that people as they wake up are going to understand that having control of your data is more and more important for sure yeah and it doesn't matter whether it's your social media followers and your subscribers or your email list or even credit card processing right like you guys have a business and you're charging for credit cards whoever's doing the credit card processing for you you need to be able to go to them and say give me all those card details i want to use someone else and if they say no we're going to keep them then you're going to say fuck you then i'm not going to maybe it's too late now but when i start my next business i'm going to work with the people who will allow me to have the credit card data for my customers in case i want to use someone else we're going to start getting our data back and that's going to take their power away because anything that's free for us to use on the internet isn't free we're giving them our data in payment i, that's what we're doing. I believe this is why yeah at one point though you know what i'm wondering too and i think what we're is doing is great. Obviously, Steve, our guy who got deleted as well for no reason, no strikes at all, just completely deleted. He's on Rumble, Love which Steve. is great, and he's uploading soon. But at what point do, at what point does the agenda start? Like at, on OnlyFans now, you can't post a swipe up link to OnlyFans. At what point does like Instagram like flag Rumble and say like, yo, you can't promote Rumble on Instagram? That's or right. like, does the App Store like? I think the next step for them is like the App Store might be like, yo, we don't want Rumble. Yeah, Matrix, on the Matrix, App Store. Matrix, like, Matrix I feel like. I don't know. I feel they like they're just going to keep taking it further and further. Ma- Matrix attacks. And, and I'm, I I mean, obviously, I don't know. but I- What y'all think about him in this Matrix shit, man? Um, sometimes when you speak, and it be sounding like, man, it, it hit, you know? Um, shit, we is getting controlled, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section for real, man. Hit that like button, subscribe, share, please, man. I really do appreciate the love, man. Man, I'm building this shit from nothing, man. I, I, I really do appreciate the support, though. Let's get it, man. Hey, also, y'all can support the channel. Keep it going. Hit the cash app, man. Any any support, man, to help, man. Thank you. Of course, I think Matrix attacks are going to come. Is Truth and Social on the App Store still? I have, I have no idea. It is? Okay. I don't know. Matrix attacks are going to come. But I think when you have strong leadership and you have smart people and people who certainly anticipate that, and also when you fight for good and you're truly doing the right thing, God smiles upon you. And I don't believe that tyranny lasts for long. Name a tyrannical government or a tyrannical situation in history that lasted forever. You can't name one. There's, no matter what, whether it's the Roman Empire, whether it's the Third Reich, or whatever, yeah. when you're tyrannical, sooner or later there's a revolt. And they're going to try their very best to do certain things. But once the general populace understands that this is bullshit and this is a version of the truth or two sides of the story, then there's going to be a mass exodus and they can't stop that. Yeah, it's, it's crazy too because Kyle's always said that no matter what, you're not going anywhere. And, uh, well, you just did Sugar Sean's podcast, right? Yeah. How many times have you seen that on TikTok? Which one? Just...